Welcome to WordPress Basics. These videos are tailor-made for you so you can learn how to update your WordPress site on your own. And today I'm gonna to be introducing you to Gutenberg Box. Now I started building websites like back in 1998 and these fancy things were not around back then, okay? They're so cool because they make editing so much more streamlined and you can make really fancy things with them that were just super time consuming before. But if you don't know how to use Guten Blocks, then they kind of stink, just like any other thing about your website, right? My company builds around 50 websites a year. And if our clients don't know how to use them, then they're not really serving their purpose. So let's take a look at Guten Blocks so that way you can love them from the very beginning and don't just immediately start going, why can't it do blah, blah, blah. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so here I am, I'm on my new post, but you can do this in pages too. Now let's make it look pretty. Let's insert some blocks. So first off, the default block, the one that they always put in for you first is just the general paragraph block. So if I just start typing here, it's just a paragraph block. So that's the first way to insert a block, right? If I click enter, it's gonna create another block for me. Now I can also see when I hover over this, it gives me this plus sign here. That allows me to add a block as well. And I can choose a different type of block instead of the one that I have here. So I might choose a heading block. Here's, ooh, that's jeers. Here's a heading. Okay. So another way that I can insert a block is by clicking on options and click insert before. That gives me a really nice option to like place a block exactly where I want it. And then I can also do insert after. Yay, that's pretty cool. All right, I can also use this plus button up here. This blue plus button is pretty nice because it gives you a lot of options. Now, if you don't know what your block is called, this is the best place to go, I feel like, because it'll show you all the different blocks that you have access to. Now, as I scroll down through this, you will see that I have blue blocks, I have purple, and I have black blocks. What is going on? Okay, so developers create block libraries that you can download and use and install on your website. I would not suggest installing a bajillion in there. That is not a good plan. It is going to slow your website down. But one or two gives you a lot of options for layouts. And so I would install one or two and just play with them. I really like Cadence Blocks because they have so many options inside of their blocks. I'll show you that in a second. That really makes it extremely customizable for what you might want to design. Options are endless, right? So I'm going to put in an info box. This is one of my favorite types of boxes. The info box has so many options. Look at all these options over here. It can, be, it can look like this or it can look like this. And this is just like big picture things, right? Every block has a different set of options. See when I put my cursor in heading, these are different options than when I select my info box. So you can customize them to look the way you want to for your site. So for example, I might want to change the color of my text to be red. And I also might want to change the border of my box to be another color. Where did it go? Here we go. Container border. I might want it to be green. Oh man, that is really good looking. Okay. So Another way to add a block, let's say that you are starting to know the names of them and you wanna move, you wanna work faster, you can just hit enter and you can do forward slash. When you click forward slash, it just gives you a drop down list and you can pick what you want. So maybe I wanna have another heading. Here's another heading. Okay, so some more tricks about blocks. How do you select a block? You can see that I have this one selected. I just click. Okay, so that's one way, just clicking. Another way is you can use your arrows on your keyboard. So if I click down, it will select the blocks for me. Now I like to use my arrows 
especially when I'm trying to select multiple things at one time. So if I hold down the shift key and then I use my other hand to use the arrows, I can select multiple things which is cool because that means that I can move multiple things at once and it makes it faster, right? So I'm just moving it around over this little block of text here. The other thing I can do with multiple objects selected is I can group them together, which means then I can move them together or I can do this other really fun thing and I can duplicate them together. Boom, how cool is that, right? That makes it way faster if I have like this big chunk of content that I'm like, this looks beautiful. Now I just want to do it over and over again. Group them, duplicate them. Very cool. All right, so another block that I feel like I would be like completely cheating you if I didn't show you is the row layout block. So this is the cadence block that I use the most. There is a default Guten block for this. It is called columns. I just like row layout better because it gives me more options. So I'm going to have two equal columns and you just saw that there were all kinds of different layouts in there. I can still adjust the layouts. Like I could decide, you know what, I want to have three columns over here. And actually I want it to be laid out like this. I can also drag these and adjust them. So there's just so many things that you can do in here. I'm going to go back down to two. All right. So I want to select this and this, and I'm going to move them up into one column. Boom, there we go. All right, now I'm going to select this and this, and I'm using my hands on the keyboard, right? So I'm clicking the shift and the down arrow to select these things together, and I am going to grab onto the six, the six pack, and I'm going to drop them in this column. How nice, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to teach you another trick. Let's say that I decide, man, I don't really like this icon. I want all of my info boxes. I want them to have a different icon. So I'm gonna click X and I'm gonna change it to this one. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I wanna have the icon color be purple. Man, I am making something so nice, guys. All right. so. I just changed this. I want to apply it to my other box. So I can do that by copying my styles. Not all blocks let you do this. Usually it's the more complicated blocks that will let you do this. So you click the copy styles link right here. Copy, copy styles. I'm going to select this block now. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click paste styles. And now, boom, it changed it. But notice that it didn't change the icon. The icon is unique to each of these info boxes. And so it might not solve every single problem for you, but it can definitely save you a ton of time. Okay, so next I wanna tell you how to remove blocks. Mm -hmm. Because I've got an extra here's a heading and I don't want one. So one thing I can do is I can just delete everything that's inside of my block. So I can just delete. Oop. There it went. I, that, I, that was me. I was clicking the delete key. Maybe you even heard it. Okay. So that's one way to remove a block. Also notice, remove row layout. That would make everything go away. So let's say that I do make everything go away. And then I'm like, whoa, what just happened? It's totally all right. You can do control Z. Or you can hit this up here undo. So your keyboard shortcuts like your normal ones that you would use in a, um, in a in an editor, like a word editor. There you go. That They work here and you can also use the buttons at the top. Yeah. So that is my introduction to Gutenblocks. Remember that you can use your keyboard to do stuff and you can also use this user interface up here to do stuff. There's no right or wrong way. There's just the way that makes the most sense to you. And there are so many beautiful different types of blocks that you can use. Everything from images to headings. These are like in a row layout. It, I mean, we have galleries, videos. There's so many different types of blocks that are just really, really fun. So don't limit yourself. Try them all. They all have different editing options. And yeah, go forth and do some Guten blocking. Of all the WordPress basics videos that I have recorded today, I think I like this one best because I really do like laying out pages and making things look awesome. Man, and 
Gutenberg can be your friend. It really can be, you just gotta learn how to use it. And we will talk more about formatting specific Guten blocks in future videos. So hopefully I helped you solve a challenge today. And if that was the case, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you need more WordPress training videos, just hop on over to our channel, maybe follow us. That would be super great. And last but not least, if you need like a more organized and comprehensive like training journey to learn how to use your WordPress site, then I have a free resource for you. We made it for our clients and it's also open to the public. You can create an account on youmaycreate.com, which is Y-O-U-M-A-Y-E-C-R-E-A-T-E.com. And you'll have access to our free WordPress training videos and step-by-step -step instructions to edit your site. So thanks again and happy gutening. <laughs>